Welcome back to Good Morning La La on Friday Feels. It's all about laughter. Laughter is the way to the heart. And Jerry Garcia has come back as a Latin stand-up comedian. What do you know? What's up? How are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah. Back from the grateful to be alive. That's right. right. We're grateful <laughs> you're here. So you have a uh, a premiere tonight yes, on HBO Latino about yes. your stand-up. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. My first 30 minutes of standalone special. Thank wow. you to HBO Latino and HBO for uh, having so me. Rad. And I'm very excited. So I've been doing comedy 10 years now, so this is like a wow. big deal. Big deal. Wow. Yeah. Let's take a look at the trailer for It's Not My Weekend. Single dad, man. I got three beautiful boys. Dude, these are my kids and homies. I get dad, check it out. My stepdad, he got me new shoes. What do you got to say about that? I said, good. Tell him he needs pants, huh? <laughs> So comes up. Can you help me with my spelling words? I'm not sure, dog. What you got? He's like spaghetti. <laughs> we just skip cat. What happened to dog? D O double G. Like what the fuck's going on? Other kids don't get me. I'm out there in the soccer field. I'm trying to do what I can. I'm just like it's the ball, dick. <laughs> We're gonna edit that out later. I'm trying to dress up, you know, I'm trying to match. This is me trying right here. Somebody called me a metrosexual the other thing. I was like, metros? Dude, I had sex on a bus one time? Okay, so as a oh, mother that I had joint... I apologize for that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> as a mother, I had joint custody, you know, when my son was little, and I can so relate to right? it. It's not my weekend. Like, it's it's a whole lifestyle in of itself. It really is, man. I, and I think that's what makes this uh, special, very special to me because I am a single father. I mm-hmm. actually have uh, two babies' mamas, you know, so you do the math. And, uh, <laughs> stuff, man. I've got three boys, and, uh, yeah, that joint custody thing, man. We make it work. It's, it's very funny. It's challenging, yeah. but... At the end of the day, you know, I'm very blessed with what I have. It's like so. double, total double life. It really is. Man. It <laughs> really is. And, and, right. and both babies' mamas, I, they're both beautiful women. I'm not going to mm-hmm. smash them on uh, court orders. I'm not going to stop. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> so how have you mastered being the best father you can be with making the least amount of effort? Well, because it, it just... I, that's who I am, you know. It's, I, 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 the practice makes perfect, and I know one day I'm gonna be a great father. I know it. You know, my kids are getting older now, and just uh, one day the social service will stop knocking on the door. One day, and, uh, no, I'm kidding. That's like <laughs> I've got a twelve-year-old, uh, eleven, and four. Yeah, oh so gosh. it's been a, it's been a long, long twelve years. And, and you've been doing comedy for ten years. Ten years. Wow. Man. Ten years. Ten years. Uh, started. I'm born and raised here in LA, East LA, and. Uh, uh, I'm 39 years old, man. I started when I was 29, man. So it's been a, a wow. good journey, man. Wow. Good journey. What was it, it like for you? I mean, growing up in L.A. and then all of a sudden you're going to be in the comedy scene. Well, I'm from a little city called Huntington Park, and it's in, like, southeast area of L.A. And, uh, you know, I, I'm not really exposed to Hollywood or this side of town. In fact, I'm very nervous about my passport and everything. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but uh, I never really got out of Huntington Park much. So when I finally got a chance to do so when I was in my early 20s, I was able to be exposed to so much more. And I got to learn about comedy clubs and the laugh factories and the comedy stores. And I'm like, dude, this is something I always wanted to try. And when I saw George Lopez, you know, just doing his thing, you know, the GOAT for us, uh, he's the one that really motivated to really try it and go 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 through with it. So that's what you did? You did it on the weekends that you didn't have the kids? You'd have the kids? <laughs> I would and sneak then you'd out go at night. And, I would go right? buy cigarettes and then go. <laughs> and I'm just kidding. No, but I would just, uh, you know, I would manage my time as much as possible. I've had mm-hmm. a lot of support. From my parents, you know, as a Mexican American, you still live with your parents as long as you can, <laughs> and uh, I have a stay-at-home babysitter with my mom, so wow. there was a lot of so- help and support from family. Wow, that's for nice. Sure. For the yeah, people yeah. Out, out there who might want to be a comedian like you and experience the kind of success you've experienced, and also have their special on HBO, mm-hmm. what advice would you recommend? Oh man, just keep trucking, man. That's yeah. the only way you can do it, man. I, I hit Mike's stages everywhere I can. Mm-hmm. I've performed whole, pretty much the whole country. I've been overseas, uh, performed for the troops, and uh, it just keep going. Every microphone, I've, I've performed in every dive bar in LA and to every to many theaters mm-hmm. with the Latin Kings of Comedy with Paul Rodriguez and other great comics. So I've done it all, and it's just every stage, every stage is, is a time for you to get better and practice and just, you know, end up in something like this. Man. Any tips and tricks you picked up along the way in order to be funnier and funnier and funnier? Fearless, yeah. fearless, man. There's gonna be bad days. There's gonna be days where people don't laugh at your material. And, and just, again, you just got to shake that off and keep moving forward, man. A lot of, I've seen a lot of comedians just take a beating every night and not do so well night after night. And then after a while, it just kind of fizzle out. And uh, it's, that's can't, that can't be the routine. It has to be something where you stick with it always. 
Well, we know that darkness and negativity can kind of fuel humor, but how do you stay positive? Mm. I just find the humor in everything I do, man. I just try and find the humor in everything. I've been single for a long time. Again, I've been dumped by two women. And, uh, <laughs> at least minimum. So are you dating in LA now? Uh, I, I'm dating. I can say I'm dating. I think I'm dating. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to know I sometimes. Know. It's hard to tell. You know. date I heard you guys talking earlier. Like, yeah. I, get, I get slid into my DMs, but I never meet these women. So it's like, I don't know what I'm, what's going on. But uh, I'm dating, I can say. And I like to date single moms, you know, because by default. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm at right now. Single moms get me, like, you know? Like a single mom, like, you know, you understand. You know that I can't yeah. come out on the 1st and the 15th. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like, we're busy those days yeah. for certain reasons. Yeah, we share, you know, yeah, we yeah. share legal advice. That's yeah. very you know? true. She's got court dates coming up and she People gets me. No idea. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. a whole thing, though. And I remember coordinating, you know, when I had son, when I didn't, and, and everyone would be going out the weekends, yeah. they didn't have their kids, and then they'd be like, yeah. so how do you do that? Like how, you must get so much content from dating and, and have the kids and really, over the weekend. And it's just like, it's just, Again, I just deal with it with the best I can and, and, and just take the grain of salt of it, everything I do. And, and just, uh, I just like, I just like dating and getting to know women. It's a lot of, a lot of crazy. And then the, now social media, like we were talking about mm. earlier with the gifts and all that stuff, man. It's great. Like I asked a girl for a phone number the other day. She's like, I'm not going to give you my number, but you can follow me. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't need more dates, but I do need more yeah, followers. I'm like, follow, what, do you, what do you think I've been doing for the last two weeks? Like, <laughs> follow you. Follow you. Yeah. To work every day. Some work. That's great. Do your kids find you funny? Yeah, they do. They do. They they like they 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 laugh at a lot of my dad jokes, and uh, obviously I keep it clean with them. So it's uh, yeah, they 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 find humor and everything mm -hmm. I do. Yeah, they they I'm a cool little funny dad for them. And HBO, I didn't know they had a Latino. Yeah, channel. there's a Latino uh, form, uh, platform as well, but uh, we are it's part of the HBO family. Mm -hmm. Again, and it's something new. I'm guessing with HBO Latino, a lot of documentaries and a lot of uh, movies that international movies they've been bringing along. So they create their own platform, but it's still part of the whole HBO family. You can mm -hmm. still find me on HBO Go and HBO Now and all that stuff mm -hmm. on demand. So what's next for you, Jerry? Just a lot of touring, a lot of traveling. Uh, hopefully uh, get to pay my rent now. On time. Nice. <laughs> yeah. That'd be cool. You know, uh, all that back uh, child support is going to get uh, caught up soon. And, uh, no, just, uh, just work, man. Just keep working, 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 and uh, hopefully get an hour special is my next goal. Wow. What yeah. do you want to be known for? Just want to be one of the best comedians and just be a household name. You know, Aww. the George Lopez or Gabriel Iglesias, I want to be one of those guys. You're on your way, Jerry. Thank you, yeah. I hope so. It's an inspiration. It I really say. is. Yeah, looking up to a lot of these guys, like Kevin Hart and Chris No, you're Ross. an inspiration. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are, they are too. Oh, thank but you. really, it is, <laughs> you know? I mean, yeah, we see the big names, whatever, but it's kind of unrelatable at some level, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then you get like someone like you that's a dad and you do all this stuff and you're striving for your dreams and, Keep it up. Thank and you. it's premiering tonight yeah. on yes. HBO. Yeah. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yes, tonight. Please check it out. Please watch it. And be kind, all right? My kids uh, follow me on Twitter. so <laughs> <laughs> Please tell everyone where they can find and follow. Uh, you can follow me on Comedian Jerry G on all social media platforms. Uh, Comedian mm -hmm. Jerry G, obviously Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. So awesome. What a pleasure, brother. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you so